make him a birthday cake and I'm sure a lot of you have seen that recipe that's featured all over Pinterest. The cake with the Smarties and like the chocolate covered biscuits surrounding it. I am going to make something like that but with my own spin and we're going to add a twist. We're going to have the Smarties box pouring down onto the cake. So I am a very very brave lady because I've never made that feature before so we're going to do it today on camera so please don't be angry if it doesn't work out we're going to try it together and we'll see if it is as easy as it looks okay i have already pre-cooked my cakes yesterday i made two citrus so it was um orange and lemon cakes because pia loves citrus so you can really use whatever you want chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, whatever. I've done orange and lemon and I made a cream cheese butter frosting because I think that will taste quite good with the citrus cakes. Pia also loves white chocolate so I have decided to go with white Kit Kats to surround the cake. You can also buy the little chocolate covered biscuits and put those on around the outside or you could do dark Kit Kat or milk chocolate Kit Kat whatever your favorite preference is you can also make it with M&Ms as well I'm going with Smarties because these were my favorite as a child so let's go through what you will need to make this recipe you will need two sponge cakes some frosting of your choice, chocolate to melt, sweets such as M&Ms or Smarties and chocolate to surround the cake. I am using Kit Kat. You will also need a length of ribbon, a straw, preferably with a pliable end and a wooden dial. Set aside your other ingredients and start by frosting your cake. Remember to frost the sides as well. What I love about this cake is that it does not have to be frosted perfectly as long as it has frosting over it so we can attach the sweets. It's very forgiving. Your cake does not have to be iced well at all because you're gonna be covering it with the chocolate like this. That's what I like about this cake is that a lot of these cakes that you see on the internet, they look so easy, but you really need to be a professional to ice them. This on the other hand, does not require a professional hand. The chocolate hides everything. So start by attaching your chocolate all around the cake. Now you're going to use your straw and reinforce it with a wooden dial. Reserve your Smarty box or your M&M's packet and what we're going to do also Break your stick in the right point. I should have just made this a little bit shorter Perfect Then this is going to bend and this is what The effect is going to be we are going to put our Smarties box into our straw and I'm going to show you the way it's going to look. And it is going to look as such into the cake pouring down. So now the next step is to cover the straw in candy, Smarties. This is about the hardest step of all in this process. 
Start covering your straw in candy. I've used melted chocolate, but waiting for it to harden a little bit so it's quite pasty and chunky. Otherwise, the sweets just keep sliding off. Insert your straw into the cake quite deep, ensuring that all your sweets are hardened to the straw, that the chocolate has had time to harden. Using one of your reserved Smarty boxes, you are then going to place it at an angle to make it look like the candy is pouring in. I'm going to use this chance to try tidy up the areas where the chocolate is showing. The hardest part of this is definitely getting the sweets to attach to the straw. And it's quite hard to hide the chocolate as well, so that you just need to have patience with. Patience and allow it to dry very well before you continue with the next step. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my Smarties in almost like the pouring effect. As if they're all running out the box onto the cake. Ooh, those are for Harry. He loves it when I do that type of thing. Okay. I need to see how that's kind of, and you can add as much as you want. Obviously, you could cover the whole top of the cake in Smarties if you want. I'm gonna do a portion of it. I don't want the whole cake because I really want to go for the pouring kind of effect. And then I'm going to attach some here. Oops, daisies, just Smarties everywhere. This is when you need children to run around and just be eating them up. That's what I would be doing. Pretty, they're all at school. Okay. So, how's that looking? Hmm. Okay. So the finishing touch, which is optional, is to put a little ribbon around the front. And I'm going to tie a little bow. Since it is a birthday cake. So, you can also use a nice bright colour. I wonder if I should put it on the base. What looks better? Yeah, I like it actually around the base. I'm wondering if I should do a bow or if I should just leave the ribbon. Let me try a bow and then I'll decide how I prefer it. Now that the bow is all tied, my cake is finished and I'm very happy with the overall appearance. It's not perfect, but the hardest part is definitely attaching the sweets. I'm pretty excited to try this cake. It has everything that I love. Smarties, chocolate, oh. So, Pia, I think is gonna be impressed with this birthday cake, I hope. And guys, for the steps, they will be pasted down below. And remember to like and subscribe. Till next time, bye.